Hello friends, it is an NPTEL course problem solving through programming using C assignment one solutions. In this lecture, I am going to explain all the questions in the detailed way. Please listen to the entire video carefully so that you will get maximum benefit out of it. Coming to question number one, C language was developed by, it is a direct question, who developed the C programming language? Dennis Ritchie is a scientist who developed C programming language. Second question, a 2D diagram to represent the steps to be followed to solve a problem is known as the 2D diagram is called a flowchart. So answer for the question is flowchart and pseudocode is English like language means uh, read that print this like this read read a print a uh, read some B print a plus B that is called English language statement we call it is a pseudo language code okay and uh, both is incorrect and D is incorrect answer is option A question number three which of the following statement is most appropriate flowchart is a diagrammatic representation of the algorithm yes it is correct it is a diagrammatical representation of the algorithm pseudocode is another form of algorithm now pseudocode is not another form of algorithm pseudocode is just like an english language statements just now we discussed in the previous question but it is given another name of algorithm it is incorrect option b given flowchart is basically diagrammatical representation so diagrammatical representation is correct of the algorithm whereas pseudocode normal english language is translated into programming language statements then this statement is also correct so answer is option b so other options are incorrect why because option c given pseudocode is basically diagrammatical representation because it is given diagrammatical representation incorrect option d pseudocode is another name of programming this is also incorrect another name of programming is incorrect so option d is incorrect so answer for the question number three is option b question number four the alu of a computer what is alu alu is nothing but arithmetic logic unit which is used to perform arithmetic and logical operations so it is the part of cpu option a given can perform logical operations only because only given it is incorrect can perform arithmetic operations only because again only given incorrect can perform both arithmetic and logic operations that's the name called arithmetic logic unit so option c is correct d is incorrect question number five when we write x equal to 10 and y equal to x which of the following memory assignment is correct when you declare a variable x x is there in some location say 100 when you declared y why also be given some allocated some memory location say 200 when you have a statement x equal to 10 it does mean that the value of x is initialized with 10 when y equal to x what does it mean y equal to x it means the value of x is assigned to y what is the value of x 10 which is assigned to y which is in different location what option is says x and y will have same location because it is given same location incorrect and both x and y will have different locations x and y will have two distinct locations this statement is correct and 10 will be stored in both this is perfectly right option c given x and y will have same location that's why it is incorrect option d given x and y will have two distinct locations this is correct and only x will contain value 10 because only x given value 10 means it is incorrect because after the assignment both x and y will have value 10 so option d is incorrect coming to question number six question number six if input from the user read n which is six the output of the following algorithm will be what is the output of this algorithm is the question look for the algorithm read n the value of n equal to six here and i equal to one and x equal to one which is initialized at this statement now condition is i less than n what is the value of i 1 less than n is 6 this is true because it is true it will continue with true part of the statements that is i is going to be incremented with 1 that is 2 x is multiplied with i what is x current value of x is 1 1 is multiplied with 2 it gives you 2 after this here you can see an arrow which is continuing with the if statement means i less than n condition now what is the current value of i 2 less than n 6 now i is going to be incremented to 3 and x is multiplied with i that is 2 into 3 6 now this process is to be repeated for 3 
so that here 4 this is 6 into 4 24 then 4 less than 6 now i is going to be incremented by 1 5 24 into 5 120 then 5 less than 6 condition is true then i changes to 6 and 6 into 120 this is 720 after that it reaches to this now we have a condition i less than n 6 less than 6 now 6 less than 6 condition is false so that it goes to the no part of this this no part of this it is printing the value of x what is the value of x 720 so that it is printing the 720 now what is 720 observe friends what is 721 into 2 into like 1 into 2 into 6 into 24 into like this one means uh, 1 into 2 2 into 3, three uh, that is into 4 into 5 into 6 which is called factorial of a number which is called factorial of a number here it is 6 factorial because n is 6 now 6 factorial is 720 means this is an algorithm or a flow chart we can say which is finding the factorial of a given number so answer for the question is option b question number 7 x is an integer x equal to 1 2 3 4 the print value of y of the algorithm below is here it is given percentile is for modular operator given and this is called division gives the coefficient of a division operator and here in this question one flow chart is given now we need to find the output of the flow chart here start read x what is the value of x x equal to 1 2 3 4 and y it is one variable which is initialized to 0 First, what it will do y equal to x modulus 10 what is x modulus 10 here i will write for your understanding x modulus 10 x is 1 2 3 4 modulus 10 gives you 4 that 4 will be added with y that is 0 plus 4 that is 4 and changing the value of y x equal to x by 10 x equal to x by 10 what is x 1 2 3 4 when x equal to x by 10 is there it is 123 after this statement now it will check x equal to 0 is it 0? No. Because it is no, it continues with again y equal to y plus x modulus 10. What is x modulus 10 here? 3. That 3 is added with y that is going to become 7. Now x is going to be divided with 10 so that it becomes 12. Is x equal to 0? No. Again it is repeating with this loop. Now y equal to x modulus 10. What is x 12? 12 modulus 10 2. Now that 2 is added with y that is 9 now x is x by 10 now it become 1 is 1 equal to 0 no again this is repeated because it is repeated x modulus 10 1 modulus 10 is 1 that is added added with y that 9 plus 1 10 now x equal to x divided by 10 this is going to become 0 now condition is x equal to 0 it is true because it is true it is going to print y what is y y is 10 so what is the output of this program 10 that is an option b that is this program is printing what this program is printing sum of digits of a number what is the number given the number given is 1 2 3 4 because number given is 1 2 3 4 the sum of digits are 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is what it performed right now 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 it is 10 so 10 is the answer but actually it is not performing 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 it is performing 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 whatever it may be it is sum of the digits of a number question number 8 the flow chart calculates the hcf of two numbers a and b which of the following conditions need to be put inside the blanks 1 and 2 to calculate the hcf here one flow chart is given the question is to find HCF what should be there in the 1 and what should be there in the 2. First I wanted to explain what is HCF. HCF is called highest common factor. Let us say an example HCF of 6 and 9 I want to find. What are the factors for 6? 1 into 6 possible, 2 into 3 possible, 3 into 2 possible. So 1, 2, 3 are the factors for 6. What are the factors for 9? 1 into 9, 3 into 3, 9 any more sim any more factors possible no uh, here what are the common factors common factors is 1 3 are the common factors of 6 and 9 now what is hcf says highest common factor among the common factors 1 3 which is highest common factor 3 so what we can call hcf of 6 comma 9 equal to 3 that is highest common factor of 6 comma 9 is 3 right now uh, just Keeping in mind this example, now we will see what is possible in 1 and 2. Now we will go according to the options. 
option A is the two statements given, B two statements are given. Now we'll go according to the options. Read A and B. Here I am taking A equal to 6, B equal to 9 as an example. Here the condition is Q equal to A divided with B. Here I am writing Q which is equals to A by B. What is A? 6. What is B? 9. 6 by 9 it gives you 0. And R equal to A modulus B. 6 modulus 9. 6 modulus 9 equal to 6. First condition 1. I am checking the option A. 1 R not equal to 0. What is R? 6. 6 not equal to 0. True. If it is true, it is going into the print section. Print value of B. What is B? 9. Now just now I have explained what is a HCF of 6 comma 9. HCF of 6 comma 9 is 3 but it is printing 9 means which is incorrect. Option A is incorrect. Now we will go according to option B. What is option B? Q equal to 0. Uh, first one is Q equal to 0. Correct to this statement. Q equal to 0 it is true. If it is if this is true. If this is true again it goes to print statement. Print B 9. Again 9 is not the HCF of 6 comma 9. So option B is also incorrect. We will go according to option C. What is option C? Option C the first statement is R equal to 0. What is R? R is 6. What is 6? 6. 6 equal to 0 condition is false so that it will go to the no part. No part means it has to execute the second statement. A equal to Q. What is A? 6. 6 equal to Q equal to Q means A value is changed with Q that is Q is 0. 0 is assigned to A and B equal to R. Now B is replaced with the value of R that is 6. This is a second statement executed. After executing the second statement it is continuing with this statement. Q equal to A divides B. What is A? 0 by B. 0 by 6 which is 0. Q change it to 0. R equal to A modulus B. What is A? 0. B 6. 0 modulus 6 is 0. Now check with the condition 1. What is a condition 1 R equal to 0? Yes R is 0. Because R is 0 true it goes to the true part. The true part is printing the value of B. What is the current value of B? 6. Now what we have seen HCF of 6 comma 9 equal to 3 but it is printing 6. It does mean that option C is also incorrect. We will check with option D. For understanding I am writing here option D 1 given is R equal to 0 and 2 given is equal to B and B equal to R. Okay. R equal to 0, A equal to B and B equal to R. Now look for D. Now D, again I am writing to verify with D. What is the value of A? I am assuming 6. B I am assuming 9. Q value assuming 0. Uh, Q value is 0 initially because Q equal to A by B, 6 by 9 is 0. R equal to A modulus B, 6 modulus 9 is 6. Option D, in option D first one says R equal to 0. But R is 6, 6 equal to 0 is incorrect. For 6 equal to 0 is incorrect, so it is no part, so that it executes the second statement. What is the second statement? A equal to B and B equal to R. It means A is replaced with B, that is 9. B replaced with R, what is R? R is 6. Now, after executing the second part, it continues with the statement. That is Q equal to A divides B. What is Q? Now Q is A divides B. A is 9. 9 by 6. 9 by 6 that is 1. And R equal to A modulus B. What is A? 9 modulus B? 6. 9 modulus 6 means it gives you reminder 3. Right? After this it con continues with the first condition. What is the condition? It is written R equal to 0. What is R? 3. 3 equal to 0 is false so that it goes to the no part. The no part it executes the second statement. A equal to B. A replaced with B that is 6. B equal to R. B replaced with the value of R that is 3. And continue with this statement. Now again Q equal to A divides B. A is 6. B is 3. 6 divides 3. 2. That is Q. And R equal to A modulus B. That is A. 6. B. 3. 6 modulus 3. 6 modulus 3 which is equals to 0. Because 3 to just 6 there is no reminder 0. Now it checks for the first condition. What is the first condition? R equal to 0. What is R? 0. 0 equal to 0 is true so that it goes to the S part. The S part it is printing B. What is B? B is 3. B is 3. What is 3? The 3 is HCF of 6 comma 9. So it is true. So answer for this question is option D. Number 9. Compiler helps in translation from. Different options are given. First we will understand what is compiler. 
compiler is called a language processor which is going to take a high level language program as an input convert this high level language program into machine language program again in machine language there are two forms of machine language we call relocatable machine language and absolute machine language it is if you go into more details but here in the options it is not given what type of machine language in the option it is given high lang high level language to machine level language so that answer for the question number 9 is option question number 10 computer memory which is used to store programs and data currently being processed by cpu the program and data programs and data currently being processed by cpu suppose if cpu has to process a program based on the data program and data first it should be moved into a computer memory we call it is main memory at main memory we call it is a random access memory we call it is a ram means program and data has to be moved into ram it is going to be processed by the cpu so answer for this question 10 is option b Thanks for watching please like share and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get an immediate notifications as and when i upload a new video for you thank you thanks for watching